Here uh, with Sebastian Brenström uh, after a 2-3 loss against uh, Molde. Uh, you did a good game. Do you agree? Yeah, we did the best we could and uh, it was one of the best games we played against Molde when, as long as I've been playing with Malmö. So I'm pretty happy with the results that not uh, didn't get more scores than we did. So I, I think we played a good game, a little bit more to uh, for, uh, get better on if we're going to beat them. So uh, It looked to me that you executed your game plan uh, very very well. You forced Molde to, to play a slower game. Was that something you had talked uh, on beforehand? Uh, I don't think, uh, not a slow game, but uh, we know their, uh, their, their strengths and their weaknesses and how they want to play. So today we executed our plan by keeping everything in, in check, so to say. They didn't get, we didn't get surprised. So in, oh, in defense, uh, defender and goalies had pretty good uh, space around the basket, I believe. And uh, in offense, we, did, uh, we had uh, our eyes on the attacker, so we didn't get surprised and uh, locked up. And uh, you scored a fantastic goal. Yeah. You had uh, some time with, uh, with the keeper. What went through your mind when you saw that you had a great opportunity? Uh, when Fralon gave, gave me the ball, I was like, don't blow this, don't blow this, just put it in. So I did, uh, I grabbed the neck and underneath the, uh, the ass and just pushed it in as hard as I could. One moment, one, one sweeping moment, so as hard as I could. You had a lot of uh, good interceptions uh, during the, the whole game. Is that something you practice at uh, home? Uh, yeah, at home at an, uh, the Landslogs flag at, at the national team play. So that's one of my strengths in defense, except the intercepting the ball, keeping uh, know, knowing where the, off, where the pass is going to be. And, can, uh, and I got l pretty long arms, so I, that's one of my strengths in defense. So uh, the, you got uh, trailing 2-0, uh, and uh, then you managed to, to pick it up. What uh, mentality do you think that uh, you had in the team uh, when you lost, uh, when you were trailing 2-0? Did you say anything on the bench or...? Uh, how did you manage to turn it around, do you think? Uh, Andreas and Fanlund just keep reminding us about uh, what we're going to do and uh, don't, f don't think about what we, what we, what's happened and figure out what we can do. What can we do to make play better? And that's just that's what I was uh, just rambling on in my head. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? The next time, what can I do? So, yeah, that was... Uh, who keep kept us up and Jürgen Persson who kept us up in the in the spirit it's good to have some uh, some experienced players yeah so uh, I'll give you some time to uh, charge up the batteries for the next game thank you, thank you very much thank you, thank you.